こんにちは。こんにちは。フィンランドセンター所長のアンマリアディリアネンです。よろしくお願いします。この展覧会をご視聴しました渡辺大使と申します。よろしくお願いします。And I'm so happy to welcome you all today to this exhibition Unity Architecture in Finland and Japan. 渡辺さん。Welcome to the exhibition Unity Architecture. Uh, three projects, three exhibitions, and uh, 18 objects in Finland and Japan. I'm a uh, Japanese architect and associate professor at Waseda University in Japan. And I'm the uh, director of the Finnish Institute in Japan here in Tokyo. And we together welcome you to this exhibition. We will be walking through the exhibition and telling about the most important works. Yeah. Uh, this is an exhibition to compose the three different exhibitions in three different cities and then try to make it a uh, uh, common way uh, which can go through to the new style of the architecture and the design. Yes, and national romanticism, that is where it all started, Watanabe-san? Yeah, at that moment I try to focus on the mechanism of national romanticism from Finland. And uh, national romanticism is very important because we met each other last December at the seminar Finnish Architecture organized by the Finnish Institute in Japan and started talking about Watanabe-san's research and my research as well. Now we are here in the first section of the exhibition. Watanabe-san, would you kindly tell us more about the prologue? Yes. <laughs> This is a, a, like a tunnel space to feel the, how much Finlandia is. And then as a prologue, the, I wrote down the first my interpretation about the National Romanticism, the which is called uh, Receptive activ Activitism. And then I want to the, emphasize the differences between Nationalism and the National Romanticism first. The, as my interpretation, nationalism is based on the attitude as a resistance. But on the other hand, national romanticism can be interpreted how to accept outer uh, pressure and then translate that one, that attitude itself as a, their own expression. Well, this painting is very, very familiar to me. It is Axel Kale Kalela, I know myth. The triptych from 1891. Why is it here in the exhibition, Watanabe-san? Yeah, uh, one of my interests about the uh, methodology of national romanticism was a multidisciplinary creative way. And then especially the Axel Ganden Kalera, uh, he was a painter and a sculpture designer, and then he also designed the uh, costume of the military army or something and then national flag and so on and then uh, one of the my inter interests was the age of the independence of Finland uh, almost uh, uh, 104 years past and then uh, this is a, a very famous painting Kalevara and then uh, like uh, Elias Lonliot the collected the different uh, uh, local narrative stories mm -hmm. as a one composed national mythology is <laughs> also the one of the uh, most important creation how people can share the conception of the country itself. That is uh, one kind of the dream for the designers <laughs> or the architects, how their own design can contribute to so many people or the society. Okay, and then the, uh, this is uh, uh, one famous scene of the Kalewara. Uh, uh, and then the uh, painter is Axel Dandekar. In my hypothesis, that he is uh, one of the key persons uh, who proposed the first conception of national romanticism in Finland. Okay, excellent. Oh, here we have learning from Finlandia. Why is that, Watanabe-san? Yes, I try to trace 
that his way. <laughs> and then while my sabbatical, I have stayed in Helsinki last year, <laughs> that I tried to trip all the uh, region of the Finland from the uh, Helsinki talk on uh, the plan or uh, East Karelia. I tried to, to uh, collect, collect the several objects uh, made by the uh, design without architectural one or the specialized one <coughs> about that objection itself. The, for example, this is a, a drawing I draw and then collage <laughs> of the objection I found in uh, any area in Finland. <laughs> yeah, for example, this is a, a costume, national, uh, traditional costume of Sami people. And then uh, there are also the several objects, the uh, local craftsman or the, uh, sorry, local craftsman <laughs> that made uh, several objects. This is also the uh, hand drawing collage mm -hmm. that I collected the uh, light from the uh, traditional until uh, contemporary architecture in Kenya. I try to find in the gradation of the light the same concept I try to correct the, from the physical object. And the same kind of concept that we have here in the Metsa Pavilion where we are today with this wonderful exhibition because it's all about the light here and uh, the Finnish mood. 18 objects and 10 prototypes. What is this, Watanabe-san? Yes, uh, this is a uh, uh, several examples that I try to find from uh, uh, modern and then contemporary architecture in Japan. And then at that moment, I try to have the one group. <laughs> the, uh, I collected these objects, the architecture, uh, design without architectural specialized design or technologies. Now, for example, uh, <coughs> this is uh, uh, one Japanese shoji style design uh, made by stained glass craftsmen. It's wonderful. <laughs> or the, this is also the uh, Japanese traditional festival or the festival float. Uh, designed and then made by ordinary people. They are citizens, not craftsmen. Really? Yeah. Whoa. And then this is also the central architectural part that made by uh, different technologies from different fields, mm -hmm. except for architecture. And then <laughs> turn to this goal that uh, I needed uh, three phases mainly. That's why I try to explain the same 18 objects by different conception depending on the context of different cities. And then this is the first exhibition that we will have in this October in Helsinki Art University. And here we can see actually Galen Canela and Jean, Jean Sibelius, for instance. Yes. This is a famous uh, painting named the Symposium. Yes, that's right. And then uh, this is uh, one of the scenes, uh, the first conception of the National Romanticism of mm -hmm. And then the most important point, he never painted architect in, in anywhere. This is also already the vision to compose the architecture without uh, speci specialized field of architecture, I thought. Excellent. Mm. And then we have here the Japanese crossover architecture. Yes. What is that? Now, uh, I first, as a first phase, I try to uh, exchange the phase uh, from National Romanticism as a nation of sorrow, which can be adapted to the third phase. And then this is a one uh, trial to make that one as more logical one mm -hmm. the, uh, through the exhibition in Berlin. And then the uh, way of the multidiscipline can be interpreted as a Crossover, mm -hmm. the crossover the boundary, crossover the craftsman, crossover the technologies, crossover the fields, mm -hmm. and then by this kind of the uh, logic, the what kind of uh, theory as a contemporary design can be 
uh, was uh, I wanted to consider. Excellent. But here, in the next uh, poster, what we see is the practice of no-scale material and uh, under the topic Synthesia Scenery. Yeah. Uh, firstly, I want to explain about the context of uh, this venue. This exhibition will be held in Weimar. The, maybe you know the name of Bauhaus. Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> and then Weimar was uh, a place the first Bauhaus was founded. And then I think this is a very suitable uh, venue to reconsider the uh, first uh, principle of modernity mm -hmm. and the modern design itself. Mm -hmm. At that moment, I want to uh, propose the possibility of uh, national romanticism methodology from the uh, version of the field, version of the theory or logic. And then this is a version of the practice. Which makes it complete. Yes. yes. And then synastasia is a one kind of the sense. When you see the, some objection or the paintings, if you can feel, we can hear uh, some sound through the uh, information through our eyes, mm -hmm. it's a one kind of the sense of synastasia. Oh. oh, I know this gentleman over here. He is Professor uh, Erenitus Uriya Sotama, who accidentally is also one of the founders of the Finnish Institute in Japan. But tell us more about this video. Yes, but, uh, actually the, uh, during my sabbatical last year at the Art University, the, uh, he is one of the, uh, my supervisor. And then the, we much talked about the mechanism of the National Romanticism. Excellent. Okay. In this video, <laughs> and uh, he is talking about how uh, Finnish design was uh, very important as a phase of the uh, design itself, of course. But uh, not only that, but also the phase of the uh, industrial level and the phase of the political level also. And then uh, we learned so much from Professor Yuriyo Sotama how uh, architecture and design contributed to compose the society itself. Thank you so much. Here I'm reading Unity Architecture map that we can see over here. Would you like to tell us some more about it? Yes. Uh, going through, by going through the three phases of these exhibitions, I try to find one uh, common way which can we can see through, and then I named the Unity Architecture. Actually, this is a three-dimensional map of Unity Architecture itself, and that's why this is also the one condensed model of the, this whole exhibition itself. Oh, I see. Uh, for instance, what is this one? This is the object number one on the map. Yes. <laughs> this is the uh, 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 same object I exhibited over there also, mm -hmm. as a first uh, Objection of 18 objects. Mm -hmm. And then this is the uh, first uh, steel nail that which was used, the Horyuji Temple. Oh, I see. Horyuji Temple is the uh, oldest wooden temple in Japan. Mm -hmm. And where is it? Uh, in Nara, Nara Prefecture. Ah, in Nara. Okay, I see. All right, but here I see something so really interesting. This is a tiny little house. Would you tell us more about this? Yes. Now, this house I named Crossover House. Mm -hmm. And then this is a house uh, project that which can be built both in Finland and Japan. The, uh, the meaning uh, we can uh, produce the same house uh, needs the uh, uh, same module of the house itself. Because uh, both in Finland and Japan, we already have the ready-made uh, uh, methodology to produce the mass production house. Mm -hmm. And then uh, without using this way, the cost of house will be very expensive. That's why I needed to find the common module which can be adapted both in Finland and Japan. And also somewhere else. Yeah. <coughs> ah. That's right. 
And then the uh, actually the uh, physical model I found is uh, 1.2 meter by 2.4 meter. Really? So everything, every design was uh, made by using this same model. That's why even if it is not in Finland and Japan, the, if there is the same model uh, at the third place, this house also can be built. And here I can see the sofa that is here and that is also here. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> But this, oh, this is my hometown, Helsinki. Yes. Oh, tell us more about that. Yeah. <clears throat> this is my proposal for the South Spot in Helsinki. Of course, you know the region around the central station is uh, one of the most important centers in Helsinki nowadays. But uh, uh, originally or historically, the South Spot is the first entrance turned to the Baltic culture. And then I want to uh, propose the one idea to redesign as a new design center. Ah. At that moment, I try to make this whole area as a one of the showcase to show the uh, forest industry. And is this your idea of the new uh, architecture museum? How did you know that? <laughs> well, I was just thinking because I saw something similar yes. here uh, in the harbor, uh, and also, well, I just yes. guessed that. Uh, actually, I'm, I think it's a little bit earlier, but uh, the, uh, I'm very interested in the design for the architecture and the museum in Southport. And then this is uh, one of the ideas to show the uh, first uh, uh, museum in the world uh, as a model, <laughs> the combined architecture and the design like this. Okay, and what is this? I see that uh, this is the model of that. Yes. And I see little houses over here. What are they? Yeah, actually, <laughs> this is uh, I, uh, one of the, my proposal, and then this is a steam sauna ship. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is interesting. I see Jean Zipelius, the famous yes. composer over here. And uh, here is the new architecture museum. Yeah. Uh, this is a drawing for the South Spot. It's also drawn as a condensed model of the whole of the consideration through this exhibition. So the, here is the uh, Helsinki Cathedral, and then the, uh, here are several important facilities for uh, Finnish uh, people. And the building uh, designed by Alvar Aalto. Yes. yes. <laughs> and then here is also the tower of the Central Station and the National Museum, both designed by Edel Sarina. Yes. <laughs> yes. And here is the tiny sauna boat, and mm -hmm. this is the large one. <laughs> yeah, this is also the steam sauna ship again. Exactly. And then the, I want to uh, make the, this whole area as a wooden belt, I mean, to show the, some kind of the, uh, forest industry. But when we are talking about, for instance, now uh, this new architecture museum, mm -hmm. the form language here, where does it come from? What are these? Do they have a kind of, uh, do they belong together? Thank you for a very nice question. <laughs> <laughs> that my first impression to consider about the design of the museum itself is coming from the, this line of the waves on the ocean. Oh, I see. Actually, the, uh, I, this is my uh, um, tribute, one kind of the tribute. against the painting of Kalevala, uh, drawn by uh, Axel Gunn and Kalevala. And then the, I also the, can see the same line on the water. Oh, that is excellent. And I see here, Ah, the furniture and the base as well. Yes. The, uh, the conception of this one is uh, uh, how to show the combined situation, architecture design and then design. So the, about this point, the design sandwiched by architecture, but this point, architecture sandwiched by design. Excellent. This is uh, one of the uh, idea. <laughs> Uh, to show how this kind of the museum can be the one unique museum in the world. And here we can also see that there is uh, the architecture here shown apart from these buildings that are already there. It's, they are mainly uh, made of wood, so yes. wooden architecture. Yes, not only the physical object, 
but also like uh, uh, energy fuel, the, uh, like uh, biotechnologies or something. Everything has to be uh, designed by using wooden material. So the biotechnology, sustainability, the forest industry and the architecture, they are discussing with one another. Yeah, I think so. So the uh, crossover the material, also the one of the uh, way to uh, interpret or the translate the idea from National Romance Tower to contemporary design. Oh, this is so. Now, obviously, we could stay here in the exhibition the whole day and just discuss about everything. But here uh, in the epilogue, you're writing here Unity Architecture in the new universal post COVID 19. What do you mean by that? Yeah, uh, actually, the first thing uh, I thought that this is an unfortunate situation. We cannot have a physical exhibition. But on the other hand, the, uh, I think that uh, we can have the, uh, enough opportunity to ask so many audience from the world to see and then to know the conception of the, uh, this exhibition. This means that there is always a silver lining in every situation, even a tough situation like the pandemic. Yes, I think so too. And then, uh, in other words, <laughs> that this kind of the idea can be also the, uh, interpreted as a methodology of the uh, receptive activities Mm -hmm. that I mean, the, uh, the pressure, after pressure of the uh, COVID-19 virus, also uh, we have to accept, we cannot uh, deny anymore. But uh, the how to accept can be the style of the new expression. So uh, I think this is also already in the uh, first phase of the uh, age of post-corona through the design. And then the, uh, this kind of the situation, I think, the, uh, quite related with the uh, whole concept I want to uh, tell you through this exhibition itself. Thank you so much. Well, this was it. Really, really interesting and thought-provoking exhibition. Thank you so much, Patanabe san Thank you, Anna Maria. And then it's quite an honor for me to have the exhibition and then uh, collaborate with uh, finished in Institute Japan and then the Meta Pavilion. Yes, this is a wonderful place for this exhibition. Uh, stay tuned for the upcoming research uh, about the Sanso, Japanese Sanso architecture and uh, the Finnish artists' villas and houses. Yeah, I'm very glad to collaborate uh, in the future too. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And after this, you will see a tour around the exhibition object by object. So stay tuned for that. Arigatou gozaimashita. Kitos